Hello everyone, welcome back with another video on Microsoft Azure Synapse series. In this video, we will see how to create a Synapse workspace. Before starting this video, let's first discuss what are the steps that will be involved in this video. First of all, we will open up our portal.azure.com. Then we will create a new resource named as analytics workspace. Then we will set up the parameters efficiently to create a new resource actually. So without further ado, I will just open up my Microsoft Azure portal and we will start our lab. So all right, here I am on my Microsoft Azure portal, as you can see. So from here, what I will do, I'll just click create a resource here and under the resources, there are plenty of resources as you can see. So from here, I will type in as Synapse Analytics like this. When I click on Synapse Analytics, it will give me two options actually. First one is Azure Synapse Analytics, which is the private link hub and the other one, which is Azure Synapse Analytics. So. What I will do, I will just click create on this second one. I'll just click on create and then choose Azure Synapse Analytics. So it will open up a new page for me. So here you can see that I am on the create Synapse workspace page and <clears throat> under this I need to give the parameters actually. So the first parameter in my case would be the subscription. So I will choose my subscription, which is a free one. And from here, you can see that I have to choose a resource group. So what I will do here is that I will create a new resource group and I will call it as Azure Synapse. So I will just click on OK. So creating a new resource group means that I actually want to categorize all of these Synapse resources inside this resource group so, so that my resources are categorized efficiently so here it is manage resource group if you want to know more about it you can just click on this icon it's a container that holds resources created by azure synapse analytics for your workspace so for this time i do not need it now so i will just skip it and under the workspace name i will call it as synapse workspace three two one yeah actually it's not available it should be unique so i will call it as three one two to see whether it's available or not yeah it is available so the region is southeast asia always remember that choose a region that is closest to you so the southeast asia is fine for me so yeah so under the account name what i will do is that i will just create a new account for data lake storage generation 2 i'll just click on create new and i will call it as dl storage my store i'll click on ok so it created a new data lake storage for me and file system name i will call it as dl file system yeah so that's fine i'll just click on ok so what i will do next is that i will just move to the security because everything is fine under here. So I will move on the security and here I have to type my SQL admin login. I'll type a username that I remember most of the time and for the password, I will choose a password that I can't forget actually. Okay, everything is fine here. So yeah, that's fine. So I'll move on to the networking part. So here it is allow connections from all IP addresses. That's fine by now. So if we need to change something, we can do it later on. Here I have to provide the tags. Remember, tags are really important to categorize your actually resources. So I will give a tag of workspace owner and I will give a random name of Mr. XYZ and data owner and it would be Miss K Jacob and, or any name you can give. So I will just uh, move on to the next section, which is review plus create. Yeah, it is actually serverless SQL and estimated cost per TB is five USD. So Microsoft will charge you five US dollars for one TB of storage in this uh, workspace. The basic properties of this workspace are provided here and under security, it's basically showing my server admin login and SQL password and networking allow connection yeah and tags so i think everything is looking good so i'll just click on create 
yeah it's actually initializing the deployment it will take some time actually uh the deployment of like this workspace is actually it takes time only right. it will take a while and your deployment will be completed and my synapse workspace 312 is actually live now you can see here so if you like this video kindly give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel for more amazing videos on these topics and i shall catch you up in the next one till then have a good day bye